Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. This is a first look at the new update of Topaz Sharpen AI version 2.1.0. Those guys at Topaz have been very busy. They just had an update not that long ago, but now they have another update. And this is an exciting update. I'm going to show you the really cool new features to the interface. It's really nice. I think you're going to like it. And by the way, if you already own Topaz Sharpen AI, this is a free update for you. So grab that update. I'm sure you're going to love it. This is one of my go-to pieces of software for sharpening my images. I use it on everything. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, and I wanted to let you know right now that it is on sale. And every time they do an update like this, a major update, they put it on sale, it seems. It's normally $79.99 on sale for $59.99. Plus, if you click on my affiliate link in the description below and use my coupon code David Kelly, that's all one word, David Kelly, uh, you'll save an additional 15%. And also, they have a utility bundle. This is a really good savings, by the way, with four great products, Sharpen AI, Denoise AI, JPEG to RAW AI, and Gigapixel AI. They're normally $359.96 in a bundle. And then you uh, have a special promo right now for $195.99. Now, this promo uh, is running... Uh, at the time of this video airing, it's uh, going, going to be running for, for 14 more days. Today is uh, July 23rd in the year of 2020. So it's going to run for 14 more days at the airing of this video. So this is a limited sell time. So take advantage of it if you're interested. And I highly recommend these Topaz products. As you know, I do a lot of videos on Topaz because I use this product. I use these products all the time. I've been using Topaz for over 10 years and I just love their stuff. Hey, so let's get a look at this uh, new update. There's some really cool features here. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this. So without any further ado, let's get started. I'm using Topaz Sharpen AI today as a standalone app. However, you could use it as a plugin in Photoshop or Affinity Photo or any other software that allows Topaz plugins to be used. And the reason I'm uh, showing you it as a uh, standalone today, because I normally use it as a plugin in Photoshop, is because I want to show you they added this new stabilized tutorial. So. And I'm sure they'll add some more tutorials here later, but they have one on the stabilized mode and you just give it a click and you can come down here and go through these seven steps and follow it through. So that's a nice cool little uh, addition to the interface there. Let's go ahead and open up a couple images. Now this is the same as before. You can click open right here in the center of the interface, or you could come up on your file here and click open images there. And remember it is a batch processor as well. So I'm going to click open right here. And I'm going to navigate to my downloads folder. I have a couple images here that we could take a look at. Let's open them up. Now, the first image is a sweet little kitty cat. And the second image is a parrot, I believe. So we have a cat and a bird. Ooh, things could get interesting here. Right off the bat, I am noticing a uh, interface change right down in the bottom right hand side here. See here where it says add. This is new, I believe. So you can import additional images. So if you click on that, you can add more images to the uh, batch of images that you already have. So it'll open up your file browser and you can add images. Or if you decide, hey, I don't want to work in these images now, you can click remove all, get rid of those and then add some more images. So that's a nice new addition to Sharpen AI. Now let's move to the upper right hand side of the interface here and the auto update preview is the same. You can check this on. It'll automatically update for you. Or if you have it checked off, then you have this update uh, button right here that you can manually click it and update for yourself. And sometimes I shut this off and I like this to, because anytime you move one of these sliders here, it's going to, if you have this checked on, it's automatically going to update each time. And sometimes you may want to adjust two different sliders. So sometimes I do leave that checked off. And another uh, change to the interface is uh, under mode here. We have this auto button here with a little lightning bolt. Right now it's off. And this will automatically detect the rec recommended mode for this image. So now you no longer have to guess. Should I use the sharpen mode? Should I use the stabilize? Or should I use the focus mode? Now it will help you determine what it feels is the right mode for you. So remember, the sharpen mode just gives you extra sharpening to your image. 
uh, stabilizes for if you had an image with some camera movement, a little bit of camera shake. Sharpen AI will magically uh, correct those kind of problems. And there's no software out there that works as well as Sharpen AI for this kind of a uh, fix. And also, if you have a focus issue where you didn't quite get the focus set right in the camera, uh, the focus mode will automatically focus and bring focus back magically. I like to use that word because I don't know how the guys at Topaz do this, but they're using uh, their artificial intelligence to do this, but to bring back focus where there was no focus. And I can't tell you how many images Sharpen AI has saved for me that I would have had to have thrown away. Let's give this a try. So auto, let's turn it on and see which mode it picks. Hey, it picks stabilized mode. So obviously there must have been some kind of a camera shake that, it, that uh, this software has detected. Now, we also have this other new button under settings, the auto button, that now we can let uh, Topaz automatically adjust for us here. So let's click on auto here, and it'll recommend these settings right here. So noise suppression at 19, sharpness at 39. Now I can go ahead and change this uh, sharpness adjustment by moving the sharpness more to the right, giving it more sharpness, but you'll notice nothing is happening, right? Because look, I, haven't, I do not have the auto update checked. But I might say, you know what, I'm going to move the sharpness up, but now I also want to pull the noise reduction off. And now click Update, and it does its update. And I can come back here and click Auto again, and it'll go back to those auto settings. So these two buttons are new, and I think this is going to be a great help. I think I'm going to really enjoy these new buttons. Uh, I think it'll save some time, because before I used to have to go through and check off each one of these modes. And now I can just put it in auto and see what uh, Topaz Sharpen AI determines for me. And if I'm not happy with that, I can always change it. For instance, I can go ahead and say, you know what? I don't want stabilized. I'll click on Sharpen. And when I do, the auto button shuts off. Now, remember, if you don't have auto update uh, checked on, you're going to have to hit the update to see what the difference looks like. And then if you want to try it in focus mode, you can click on focus. And again, nothing will happen until you click that update button. Now let's check out the cat image. So we'll click, click on the cat. And here's our little kitty. He's so cute. And now let's go ahead and click on the mode auto and see if it picks a different mode. So let's click that. And this time it said, hey, this just needs a little bit of sharpening. And then, of course, I could come down to the settings section and click auto here. And yeah, it says gave me a little noise reduction and it gave me some sharpening. Now, remember, I can go ahead and uh, bump this up. But we don't see anything happening here because I don't have this checked. And I, I'm leaving this like this on purpose because if you don't have this checked, you will not see a change here. So you have to click update. And then you'll see your change take place. See, now you'll see the difference here. So now let me go ahead and click this back on. Let's click it on. Now, if I take the sharpening and bump it up a little bit more, you'll notice it'll update by itself. So that's cool. And I could take the noise suppression, give it more noise suppression if I wanted to. And it'll, it'll readjust itself. So remember that. So you may want to keep this checked on or sometimes you want to check it off. But that's really totally up to you. If you're going to be moving multiple sliders, I would recommend keeping it unchecked. That way it won't keep updating each time you move a slider. But if you're only going to move one slider, it's probably not a bad idea to leave it checked on. And that way you could see the change take effect immediately. The last feature I want to show you is the new masking feature. And it has a uh, auto mask feature to it, which is really cool. So if you come down here, see where it says mask right here. If you click on this, and look over on the left-hand side of the bottom interface here. See where it says Find Objects. Click that. And it says Cat. And you see the little icon of a cat. So watch. If I click this, you notice it puts an overlay right over the cat. Isn't that cool? So that's pretty cool. So now we can just mask that adjustment onto the cat if we want to. And we can still manually paint if we want to. Or we could... You have an add or subtractor. I could take away if it missed a little area... I could add some to it, or if it overshot an area, I could subtract some away. And it has an edge wear on it and all that. So that's a really cool feature. And, uh, and then when you're done, you just click Apply Mask, and it'll just apply it to the cat, which is cool. For now, I'm going to click on Remove Mask. 
Let's go to the uh, parrot here. Let me navigate up to the parrot's head here. And let's try the same thing. Let's put it in the auto mode. And now let's come down here to mask. And now we'll click find objects and look, bird. And now if I click on bird, you'll notice that it put the mask on the bird. So if I said I just want the bird to be sharpened, I can click apply the mask. And now that sharpening effect will only be applied to the bird. So that's basically all the new features, but there's some pretty strong new features in this update version 2.1.0. Well, there it is, the first look of uh, the new update for Topaz Sharpen AI. And don't forget, it is on sale. It's normally $79.99 on sale for $59.99. And if you click on my affiliate link in the description below and use my coupon code David Kelly, that's all one word, David Kelly, uh, you'll receive an additional 15% off. And they also right now have a sale on their bundle, uh, the utility bundle, which includes Sharpen AI, Denoise AI, two of my go-to pieces of software. I use them on everything I ever uh, process. JPEG to RAW AI, which is really good for converting JPEG images to RAW images, really cool. And of course, Gigapixel AI, another one of my standards and standbys that I use all the time. So they're on sale right now. And the bundle is $359.96 normally, and it is on sale for $195.99. And with my affiliate link and my coupon code, you'll save an additional 15% off of that, which is a nice savings. So take advantage of that. Hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you will be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.